Hi there, this is David Detman and welcome to my bonus training on making funny photos. Well, they can also be used for business. As you can see on my page here, I've used them to market myself. You might just want to play around with it with your photos or you might be wanting to you know, make your photos look a bit more presentable. Uh, get yourself on a billboard, that type of thing. Okay, so where do I do these and how do I do them? Okay, well, this is one I just did up quickly of my dog, Junior. Um, but I'll go to the photo effects and show you exactly how I did it. Alright, we'll do a billboard. Do this one. Alright. Now for this one, I'll do one of... you got to keep in mind when you're doing these photos, which you've got to keep the aspect and ratio, so some photos may not work out. Okay, I'll do one of myself. Because it's a reasonable photo. I don't think I've done this one before. Okay, you can see what I mean. It's not going to take the whole photo. It depends on the type of effect you're doing too. So just center it a bit more. By the way, this site is free. There are other sites around there like this one, but this is the one I've found most effective and seems to work. The other thing is you can do animations. Uh, you may have seen some of my animations. Pretty much all it is is as a, a effect with an animation. So you can see there's rain pouring in this one. So it's dripping down me. All right, I'll go and do another one. Now, I'm just going to do a sample. You may need to adjust your picture sizes if you really want to use a picture. This particular one, as you can see, this is why I've used it, uh, it won't crop properly. So, for instance, I can't get the whole logo in, so you might want to play with a photo editor or whatever. Uh, just for the demo, I'll just do this. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> If you had a, a square sort of logo, for instance, just do another one. Put back. Disc. All right. For instance, go to meeting logo. Okay, it's square. It should come up all right, this one. There you go. So you just got to position it. It's just going to fit. Now, this won't be the case with every one you do. Uh, they all vary. If you're not happy with it, like if you think it's too big, just go into a photo editor and, and downsize it. You know, you can play around with it. If you're really wanting to get a particular image done, uh, that's what I'd recommend doing. So, all right, I'll just do a number one. Let's see what we've got on number six. 
Try and do something which is a little bit different. Alright, we'll do this one. Okay. I mean, you can see how quickly you can do them and and delete them. Like, how cool is that one? All right, now how you how you save them? Just the quickest way I've found is just go save image. All right, you can change the file name if you like. You can press save to disk. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's one other one I just wanted to show you real quick. And I think this one in the demo, I'll just try to find it again. Alright. We'll do a junior in this one. What a crack up. <laughs> so you can see they do add new ones all the time. But you can see the ones I've done. Like if you, you can even add, put text in them. How you put text in them is use a photo editor to add your text or Photoshop, whatever you use. Um, for instance, you look at this one. A lot of people comment on this one on my blog. <laughs> People say, oh, gee, that, that's excellent. You know, they actually think people, <laughs> the ladies drawing it. You know, how cool is that? Look, it adds something different. I mean, some people say, oh, it's unprofessional to do it this way. But look, you know, personally, you look, my photo is pretty boring, I think. It's not the best photo of me. I haven't found the best photo of me yet. <laughs> Maybe when I was a younger boy, I don't know. But anyway. You get the general idea. It's a pretty cool tool. As you can see, you know, look, I've put my logo in here. It's cut off here, but it doesn't really matter. You know, like, I could have gone in and taken that out if I wanted to. It's just a great way. I mean, this one I use quite a bit because it just stands out. I mean, this is what I do. I help average people online. I mean, it's to the point. I don't have a logo in this one. But it just stands out. You can do this too and it's free. So I hope you like my demo on how to make cool photo effects. I look forward to the next training. Uh, until later, uh, leave your feedback on my blog. I will put links to my Facebook page so you can have a look at most of the photos which I've got here. Which I've done and I'll put the link to the, um, the, photo, the fun photo box. So this is David Detman. Until later.